just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Casa del Sol hotel. It's so cute. I feel like I'm in like a little Marie Antoinette like French room. It's so freaking cute. Okay, so as I mentioned previously, we are here to celebrate the launch of Sam's new line of denim. I just tried them on and I'm in love. So she's launching four different washes. We have a light, medium, dark, and a black. All you need. The fit, I'll obviously show you them on, but the fit is very cool. They're kind of like a straight, but still like relaxed, perfect denim. And I'm so excited because Shay has been talking to me about these for a while, for like months. So I'm excited that they're here and I'm excited for her and the same team that they finally launched. And I selfishly am excited because I've been wanting jeans. Not gonna lie, I am exhausted. I had to wake up at three in the morning and now it's the afternoon. I slept a little bit on the flight, but I'm still dead. My head is like pounding. But at the same time, I feel like I can't take a nap because then I just don't think I'll ever wake up. I genuinely don't even remember what I packed last night. I packed two full suitcases for three nights, which is just so unnecessary, but we gotta have options. Moon boots, crucial for a ski trip. They're so comfy and they're like walking on clouds. Then I brought a bunch of high heels. I don't think I'm gonna actually ski. I'm just like not in the mood to have to like go rent gear and I'm not the greatest skier. This coat that I was showing you guys in the last vlog. I can't wait to wear winter clothes because living in Miami, I don't get to experience fall or sweaters or fur. So it's fun to be able to style cold weather stuff. I just got this Pixie Market skirt in brown leather. It's the same skirt that I have in cream and black leather. I'm excited to make the closet look cutesy. I feel like Aspen has the coolest stores. I went into the Forward and Revolve pop-up because there's some Orient pieces in there, so that was cool. Checked that out quick. There's so many cool things in there. There's a bunch of unbelievable Hermes bags in there too, like alligator mini Kelly's. I was drooling. How cute is this sweater from Nilly Lotin? Okay, I'll show you guys the finished closet once I organize it all. Ta-da! So we like my little setup. We have fur coats, sweaters, belts, bags. Oh my God, I just got this new purse and i love it i've been eyeing it for so long i actually got the bigger size and then it was like too big for my body i felt like when it was against me but then now i feel like this is too small but it is a really cute little going out bag it doesn't fit as much as it looks because of how puffy it is like the actual pouch in here is not that big but it's really freaking cute i feel like i need new purses because i've been selling all my purses because i'm like not loving them and i haven't been using them and i don't like when my purses just sit in my closet but now i need to find new purses that i really like that like make me really excited but it's hard to find i'm like not vibing with anything all i want is a bunch of hermes bags but i can't get one because the whole hermes hermes game is too much for me um i'm going to the saint regis to treat myself to a massage i'm so excited i like made a promise to myself that i was going to treat myself to a massage once a month and i haven't been doing that so no time like the present to go do that i love a massage like i live for a massage it brings me so much joy my mom doesn't like massages like she doesn't like to be touched i feel like there's some people that are like that not me i love a good rub down all right so gotta go gotta go get my rub down My massage was life-changing it was pretty expensive <laughs> but you know treat yourself it was worth it i feel so much better before and after my massage sat and got like oxygen and ate 
all the snacks stole like 20 water bottles had the spa water with the lemon and the fruit in it just chugging i was getting my money's worth i like went to each station and enjoyed each thing the oxygen is really cool i feel just so much better so maybe i wasn't obviously i'm tired but maybe i was also the altitude and the snacks there was like this check spicy Chex mix thing i think i went up four separate times but how cute are my little headbands i got a pack of these on amazon they're like just little thin ones i might have gotten the last one hopefully they restock it i'll link it but i think it looks so cute with just like a ponytail i have on our new two-tone naomi's i forget if i showed you guys these but i've been wearing them so often like every time i go to get dressed this is what i've been reaching for because sometimes you don't want just an all gold moment or an all silver moment the two-tone I think it's just cool and fresh. I love it. I, every time I get dressed, that's what I've been feeling like looks the best with my outfits. So I'm just keeping it simple tonight. I feel like when in Aspen, you have to just have your coat be the outfit. I feel like your coat is just the outfit. I'm wearing my favorite turtleneck. This is the Commando one. I'm a psycho when it comes to blacks. Like nothing irks me more than when I buy a black top and I wash it once and it turns gray. If I ever have clothing, which I probably will one day, you can count on me to deliver black black clothes but that's why i love this turtleneck the material isn't i'm not sure what it is it's almost like a stretchy material so a it just like it's so flattering and b it will stay black forever and then i'm wearing the same jeans and i'm gonna do this coat cute every time i wear fur coat i feel like it just makes you feel a certain personality like you're just like I have so much work to get done. I've been avoiding every team member from every, from both businesses, from my personal brand and Orium. But I just needed a minute to adjust. This is why traveling by yourself and trying to work at the same time is low key really difficult. Matt and I also, fun fact, I don't know a single other couple that spends more time together than Matt and I spend time together. Obviously, we run Orium together, and both of us are, I wouldn't say that we're codependent on each other because we're both very, alpha and independent in our own right but both of us prefer to just be together at all times we don't do anything separately like i think we've texted each other that we miss each other 72 times today and it's it's day one and i just keep texting him being like let's never travel separately again which you're allowed to be fine that's super cringe because that is cringe that i can't spend a day without him but we're we don't we just are together 24 7 so We've become a unit, but in a non-toxic, desperado way, just a somewhat normal way. I don't know why I was telling you guys that, but anywho, I'm bribing Matt to come with me to Fashion Week. I told him I would buy him a ton of clothes if he comes with me to Fashion Week. Because <laughs> obviously there's no reason for him to be there, and he doesn't really take my content unless we're traveling. So if he comes on to with me to Fashion Week, he's going to have to help me a decent amount. Obviously, he would help me for free, but it's only fair to bribe him to get him to do it. And my TikToks only do well when he's in them, so he needs new clothes for my TikToks. So I'm excited to have him come with me to Fashion Week because it just makes it more fun when we're together. Anywho, I'm sorry this is like not interesting conversation whatsoever, but my outfit's cute. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys the jeans. I think I'm gonna wear these boots. They're old from Revolve. I'll check if they're still in stock because I got them last year. But I didn't want to wear any of my very expensive boots because I thought it was gonna be slushy here, but it's not. I have yet to try to vlog in public and amongst other human beings. All my vlogs have just been me sitting at home so I need to get comfortable doing that. I'll try to do that tonight and see how it goes. Okay, so I may or may not have switched my flight to go home a bit earlier. Well, just a day earlier, but there's supposed to be a big snowstorm tomorrow, so I could not risk getting stuck here because another weekend that I was gonna come here, there was a snowstorm and some of the girls were stuck here for four extra days. So I switched my flight 
because I really need to get home. But I've been having so much fun. And yesterday we went to this really cool cabin that um, Shay's Shea, friend owns the cabin. And it's actually the same cabin that Kylie Jenner shot at for Bower. The, the photos are so cool. So we all drove over there to like take some content, check out the house. The house was like stunning. It was so cute. It was like, oh, it was amazing. I'll show you guys photos. Then we went to the Caribou Club, which is like a famous restaurant here. And it was very delish. And then there was kind of like a little party happening afterwards on the dance floor. I actually haven't drank at all this week because I knew that I would feel like shit from the altitude. But I honestly had such a blast. I'm excited to go home to Matt though. I spent the morning just fully rotting in bed, eating and getting a ton of work done, and, but I didn't leave the bed whatsoever. It's actually a lot to manage being away and trying to be on it with dressing for New York Fashion Week because if you don't answer like right away, you can get stuck with not the best outfits and I'm a psycho and I really care about which look I'm getting. So if you don't answer right away, they'll kind of be like, oh, that looks already taken which means I basically needed to be like on it, on my phone, doing work this whole trip too. I really hope I can get out. It's snowing pretty aggressively. I just kind of wanted to update you guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. I don't know if the next one will be fashion week or I might do the girl talk one next, another girl talk episode. Also, apologies for all of my vlogs just being me in the same spot, in the same room, always. Fun fact about me, I'm a literal hermit crab, so I don't like to leave my room. So sorry this wasn't that adventurous, but bye, love you.